Hello everyone. Today I have an uh, interesting problem in uh, Archimedes principle. So you uh, may have studied this Archimedes principle. Let's review just the basic what it is. So in Archimedes principle, uh, you have some fluid, and uh, fluid, and if you submerged an object, whether partially submerged it. It can be fully submerged or partially submerged whatever it is um, so there is a concept called displaced fluid so displaced fluid displaced fluid so first you have to understand that and then you will be very easy to follow it so for instance if this is solid this is a solid object and the fluid couldn't get inside here then the volume of this thing uh, so volume of a of uh, a is the displaced is equal to displaced fluid volume over here like a this could be like a some kind of boat or ship so this is the volume of this much that's the displaced fluid uh, this is the dis the displaced fluid used to be here it kind of pushed outside right displaced fluid so you have to think about whatever fluid used to be here has got pushed outside it's no longer at that location in this volume so once you have displaced fluid, then you will have a, a mass of that associated with, and then you'll have a weight of the fluid, weight of this fluid, displaced fluid. So Archimedes principle is that uh, when you submerge something in a fluid, there is a additional force uh we we can say uh there's a force of buoyancy force of buoyancy that's equal to this thing force of buoyancy is upward and has a magnitude equal to that so force of buoyancy equal to a mass of displaced fluid Uh, times g upward like a force of there's no force of buoyancy in that direction force of buoyancy just upward direction it's trying to push it out of, out of the fluid and the fluid uh, surfaces in that direction so it's going to just push it outside try to it tends to push the object out and so it's upward okay <clears throat> If you understood uh, this, the idea of displaced fluid and how in various places you can find the displaced fluid, you you probably mastered everything about Archimedes principle. So this problem is actually an application of uh, a little bit of math, you know, kind of I cooked up some interesting situation here. So we have a funnel here, uh, which is uh this funnel has a uh, as a top is, is a circle and then comes down and you know there is a little hole here and i plugged it so this is completely empty can be filled with something whatever but it is not going anywhere when i put in a fluid of density this uh it as submerges to so that this much is outside and that's what we are trying to find in terms of given given things okay all right so if i look at the uh, funnel what do we have Fu on the funnel forces on a funnel um are going to be f1 force will be the weight of the funnel 
and another force will be force of buoyancy. So they are opposite to each other and force of buoyancy must equal to mg here. m is the mass of the funnel. m equal to mass of the funnel. So this is the only equation I'm going to get and from this we should be able to figure out what this is, okay? So let's see what the force points will be. Well, it will be, let's look at a displaced fluid. So it will be volume of all of this. So that's a cone. And then there is a cylinder here. So all of this is displaced, right? So let's call this A, call this B. So this will be FB will be volume of A part plus volume of the B part. That's the displaced fluid times the density. That's the mass times G. That's 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 what the force buoyancy will be. And so the right side is MG and the G just basically cancelled out. So I can do this experiment on. on uh, some other planet and to get the same thing you know same answer so uh, what's the VB VB is um, is very easy it's just a, a pi d over 2 square h0 so that's not that's just a kind of extra factor hanging around it's not coming in the calculation here that I see h h will be uh, let's call this height of this thing uh, the top of the funnel this is the top and this is like a, uh, the neck of the funnel let's call this X and this will be some radius R and you, you can see that um, if uh, if this so the X X is basically H minus H and so if I look at the funnel you have a R and you have a little R and th this part is H and this part is X so these are uh, two triangles similar triangles here and I'm going to get R so this R over X this over this equal to this over that R over H so X is already we found so little r will be R over H times X and that's the X is R over H times H minus H so this volume of A is one-third pi R square X and uh, we got all of this let's uh, put them together uh, so this r square one third pi r square over h square and x cube x cube will be h minus h uh, cube I think that's correct right so so th this is like one over third pi um, R squared is R of R squared over H squared X squared times X and that that becomes this so that's where the H is hiding so now I know how to proceed um, so I, I, I send this guy on the other side send this guy on the other side so VA turns out to be M over rho 0 minus VB and VB is that guy so I, I do as much as possible in simpler notations and VA is this guy then I can send these guys on the other side so I'm gonna get H minus H cube equals to uh, 3H square over pi R square 
m over rho 0 minus vb and you can see I can take a now you, you should see very clearly this whole thing is going to be a very ugly looking expression and so I can subtract this from little h so I get big H equals to H minus uh, this stuff. Let's call it Y, uh, Y to the power one third. So uh, if I had given numerical values, uh, I can uh, get all the answer in the together. So sometimes it's, uh, you know, when there is Archimedes principle and looks like a challenging principle, challenging problem, it is not so much about Archimedes principle as about you know uh, whether you can get the geometry right you know there may be problem in uh, solid state geometry kind of masquerading as a Archimedes principle problem the principle itself is quite simple so let's go and uh, kind of review just for before we break out uh, so here it is the principle is uh, whether it's a fully submerged or partially submerged in each case there is a thing called displaced fluid the concept displaced fluid and displaced fluid is the volume of the fluid that got moved out of the way and usually it can get the volume of that and multiply by the density so you, we need to convert them to mass so that it can convert the weight and the weight of the displaced fluid is how much the force of buoyancy would be that's the idea very basic idea and just here I want to demonstrate into a little complicated situation not too much but enough to give you a flavor of what kind of calculation you might have to do <clears throat> all right uh, I will uh, uh, see you another video um, just to uh, before, just to remind you that uh, not to forget to subscribe to this channel so one is you should subscribe to this channel or check out my website www.physicsbootcamp recently it has kind of taken taken off and there's a lot of students using that website uh, we'll talk to you in another video bye